Uh, this is a book by a page out of a book by Tex Mars, who's written several many books. Uh, years ago, I wrote a book about mind control murders. Uh, it was called "MD a License to Kill." It was about one of the cases was about U.S. Congressman Larry McDonald. He was a physician from Piedmont Hospital in Atlanta, and later went down in the KAL that veered into Russian airspace, and they shot it down. Uh, you can do anything with mind control. And if you knew you were under mind control, or somehow you knew it, you'd been programmed, where would you go? Because nobody, no doctors that I know of, psychiatrists or anyone, mental health, anybody, other than you can go on YouTube and find professionals that talk about mind control, but none of them are, have told you about these except Jesse Ventura did one. Uh, I know I was working for the district attorney in eighty when John Lennon was shot, and that was a program shooter, Mark David Chapman, that killed him. Jesse Ventura put some things up on HLN, and he had to move to Minnesota. Uh, he was the uh, ex-governor twice of Minnesota, wrestler, well-known. And after he started telling about a harp that can control weather that this government has uh, and cause hurricanes, uh, earthquakes, tornadoes, etc., uh, he had to move to Mexico, but now I think he's moved back. But anyway, I wrote a book about mind control, and you can program a pilot to veer into airspace like it did, the KL pilot did. He was a seasoned pilot, uh, very good. And um, I had written about the mind control being used. I'd worked for doctors. Now and then, three years later, I didn't get it published because they almost killed me, but uh, Larry McDonald goes down the plane en route from um, you know, Alaska to Seoul, South Korea. Now, former President Nixon, member of the Watergate and all that, he was aboard that flight and taken off in Juneau, so they had to know it was going down. 260-plus went down. So I was um, Larry Flint, who was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, when I was trying to do the, well, I was doing the book about mind control. He was shot nearby Gwinnett County, Lawrenceville. I lived in Marietta. And um, the person that shot him was programmed. And they made it, paralyzed him and killed his attorney. And the judge was shot up pretty bad. Uh, he says here, I know who was responsible for his shooting. That was in uh, March the 6th of 78, and this was sent to me April of 84. He helped me in the campaign in 83 to replace uh, Dr. Congressman Larry McDonald. But back to this, the implantable biochips. Um, you've got um, Timothy McVeigh right here. He said that the Army put a chip up his buttocks. Okay. Later, he um, was put to death because they said that he was responsible for the um, Oklahoma City bombing. By the way, that was a rider truck that he used in that, that was used in it. Um, this is the other side of that. It's uh, Project Lucid. They're talking about chips, Project Lucid and chips in the New World Order, your global government, and the fact that um, when it all came together, you would have to, uh, you'd all be chipped and have to use chips, not money or anything. That's come to be, it's shocking because I happen to know, and it can be proven, that as far back as, that I can prove, as far back as um, 62 and, and further, the chips were put in root canals. So, um, I mean, look how far back that is, and they're just now coming out and uh, enlightening you and telling you you have, you have a choice. Like if you work cor for a corporation and they offer to put chips in you uh, so you can go to the drink machine or the candy machine and just have the chip in your finger and uh, flash it before the machine and there you go. You got your candy in your bank accounts deducted, I guess. Uh, think about it. 
now then they're just now t- getting you ready because it's already been done and it, believe me they didn't ask you they put it in it's done at a low level that you can't hear it's signals done by signals and I could get into other stuff that I've written and put up but I'm gonna fast over here forward over here um The ones that I have told about of late, it's odd because the ones that uh, the murders, most of them that the network tells, are not in patterns, and you can prove it, like the Virginia Tech next door to me here in Blacksburg, Virginia. He was from South Korea. He was programmed to shoot himself after he shot the 32, I believe, uh, and they're dead. Students over there. So, you know, I've told this, the media knows it. Uh, it's appalling to me because these have been deliberately put up by the Illuminati. I mean, well, they're the media, so they have to, they're the ones doing it. Uh, Rothschilds, Bilderbergers, uh, Ed, uh, George the, excuse me, George the Sixth, illegal Elizabeth, the New World Order through the United Nations. That's your global government run by the rock, the mafia. Let's stop saying Illuminati or trilateral. It's the mafia that Kennedy was a part of. Remember when he uh, was uh, accused of killing Marilyn Monroe and Bobby Kennedy was, quote, I don't want to say that, doing her, but that that's the language that's been thrown around that I've heard and everything, and they don't care who they uh, don't respect. So anyway, uh, this is the grand, no, this is uh, Century, uh, I guess their theater in, in uh, rural Colorado with James Holmes. And Mr. Holmes went in and shoot up, uh, shot up, excuse me, uh, a bunch of people. And it's shocking if you see the names of these people and how they were brought together. You would begin to be in awe of the synchronicity in it, that the, they can be brought together. And a person, James Holmes, programmed to shoot certain ones. Now then, they put him in the mental hospital and called him crazy, gave him psychotic drugs, and that's what they're doing. They're using the mental health system when mind control is a murder weapon. The person doesn't know they're getting it, and that's what's being used. It has nothing to do with mental health, and it's certainly not schizophrenia, and you don't autopsy their brain to see if you can find an abnormality. You can just just um, autopsy the the group. Look at all the groups who have uh, so-called terrorists who have been programmed and called terrorists and all this. Uh, you you um, autopsy their body to see if you find the chip in it. I bet you the best place is a root canal. So this was uh, James Holmes, and I could go on. This is Sandy Hook, where he killed his mother. Can you imagine the pain and suffering? This kid is programmed. He would never have done that and never have shot up and killed all these children. And now then we go to the latest, almost the latest, and that was in Las Vegas to Mr. Paddock. Uh, the autopsy is his brain, for God's sake, and people hate him. Now then, we come to, what was it, day before yesterday now, I believe, uh, when the um, uh, man from another country ran his, uh, and this time it was a Home Depot, and mowed down the children and the grown-ups that were um, on bicycles and walking. And uh, I've forgotten how many is dead. But anyway, uh, now they're calling him a terrorist, and he's ISIS and all this. And he's a part of the chipping and the this whole bunch here. And I'm going to put this in. It's the Rothschilds and Rockefellers and Bilderbergers and George uh, Illegal VI Windsor and uh, Elizabeth and her brood. So, uh, and I, I want to put this in. Obama came out this last, uh, well, when was it? Last Christmas? Just before, uh, yeah, just before Trump uh, came into office. And he stated 
that uh, it was uh, fake news. This is when the fake news started. And uh, Zuckerman, and by the way, Zuckerman of Facebook, I didn't know it at first because I put a lot of things on Facebook and YouTube. But he is uh, controls Facebook. Now you're hearing the Google. I don't know about Google. I assume that Google and your top uh, media that you think you're uh, on the Internet, that you're giving information to and it's safe, is run by the very people that are uh, doing all this stuff. Zuckerman is grandson of um, Rockefeller, and uh, he has plans to run for president. Now then, he's the one that's being the good guy, or supposedly, if you don't know what's behind it, and the media is controlled by the Rockefellers and Rothschilds, He's trying to say this about Russia and the collusion with uh, Donald Trump. My God, Zuckerman is the one that should be investigated. Uh, the media is just like Donald Trump said. They're corrupt. They delete the truth. They're a bunch of rotten liars. I know that for a fact. None of them will touch any of it, and it can be proven. So I guess that's all. I want you to take note of this, though, while I'm on here. It seemed like there was something else I was going to say. This was years ago. This was uh, taken 13. You got Jacob's Law, Megan's Law, Jessica's Law. You've got Amelia's Law and Adam's Law. His father is... Um, John Walsh, who is on Hunt in America's Most Wanted, I think. His son, and I know that for sure, too, the ones I've said, was programmed. And that's very sad. But the sad part is that nobody's telling the truth about this, and yes, they do know it. They're afraid of it, and they're afraid to go after, but they don't mind trying to go after the people that tell it and shut them up. So uh, I... That's about all I can put up. I've uh, there's a whole list of them, and um, goes way back. Uh, like I say, the chipping goes back bef back to at least sixty two, but way back uh, when they shot King Ferdinand, they programmed the guy to shoot him. So it's way back. The Tesla files was stolen in thirty, and that's where you can. It's kind of like. Um, well, it's not just subliminal like people know they can get off the TV. This involves mind control and getting, uh, it's done at a level that you're not aware you're getting, like the dog whistle. Uh, you can blow it and uh, he can hear it and you can't. It's at a level you can't hear. So that's how they've done it. And people shy away when they think that a signal can be can hit them and make them commit suicide like Rob and Williams. It takes a little bit more than that programming, but it's done by signal at a low level. And I could go back and tell about uh, who I thought was a good person, and that was um, the Washington Post because they exposed the Watergate. Until you expose them, they're both the same bunch of people. Her husband, uh, Philip Graham, said on the communication satellites, your global information satellites, ComSat, uh, I could go on and on, that go right into your home that's been in work for a long, long time, years. Uh, I could go on. He committed suicide, but he, uh, Philip Graham, Catherine Graham's husband, uh, he was on so many committees, and with John Kennedy, who people adore, uh, he was mafia. I go back to Marilyn Monroe, who was murdered, and uh, people seem to have forgotten or don't care. Uh, but um, they were together, the Kennedys, the um, Rockefellers, all of them. And uh, I, I'm going to let it go with that. I've tried, and I've put it up, and... Uh, People have to do something uh, about it instead of pretending that uh, that's crazy or know that the government's not doing that. Indeed, they are. And uh, the last one, uh, the one up in um, New York, and let's see. I'm not going to say this one, but there's another one that ties it together uh, that was done the same day. I'm not going to say anything about it, though. I, people, I've fed information and given it when uh, 
it's taken a toll on me. I've done the media's work, and they got paid for it. <laughs>